What's happening folks, welcome back to a freezing Celtic Park. It's full time reaction to Celtic Force St Mirren. Now I've got Martin and Darren with me to go over this one. Uh, Darren, really comfortable victory. I thought a good performance from start to finish. Yep, fully merited 4-0 victory. I thought every player that started probably had a 7.5 or above out of 10. Mm -hmm. The bit of a slow start I thought, obviously St Mirren gave us a wee scare. They came out kind of half trying, mm -hmm. more than most teams that come here. They obviously got a goal that was chopped off and I think that kind of woke us up a wee bit and you know we got started from there it was a good opening goal I thought you know it, was, well, it wasn't really a good opening goal I thought Kobayashi probably should have scored and then it was lucky that Abada was there for a rebound but you know that's, that second goal for me just epitomised mm. Kyogo at the moment and I, I want to mention the pass from Hitati as well it was just brilliant I think how many times did VAR get involved tonight with, <laughs> with, with offside decisions and you know, I, I, I don't mind it because it means it's working because mm. one of the goals did get chopped off which should have counted so that's yeah. That's doing its job, you know. Yeah. But that, that second goal, the chip from Kyogo was delightful because that ball was worked by Hitati yeah. and just beautiful. He's he's I, I love him you now. He's he's uh. just just hitting it because I thought I said to myself five minutes before the score, I was like, I had I've not seen Kyogo kick, kick a ball, but you said this before, Paul. It just it, it sits on the periphery yeah. and then it just strikes and then you know getting two 0 you can expect expected is just to to start the second half and, and just build on what we have and I think we did that. Um, I think the the Kyogo goal as well, the third goal, just his movement as well, his pace, it's just it's, it's fantastic. That little ball from Jota first time, it did look offside, but I got sent a pitch on the ball. It was ahead of the ball, so yeah. the goal did stand, and then yeah. what a cracking goal from Turnbull to, to make it comfortable. Finish it off. I, uh, Martin, Dan's talking about Kyogo there. He's so alive all the time, just waiting to pounce. He makes so many runs, and 90% of the time he doesn't get the ball, but he still makes them, and he got in some great positions tonight. The first goal was, was absolutely delightful. He, he gets the second one as well. He lays one on for Forrest, but it showed out for offside. thought he was brilliant tonight. Ah, he's brilliant. I mean, he went through a wee sticky spell not that long ago, eh, where there was a wee bit of concern, and you know, the fans were getting behind him, and he was looking for love for the fans, and the, and the love was there. But, but you know, in recent, recent weeks, he's been consistently very, very good. I thought when he first came, he just ran and ran and ran for the sake of running, you know, and to some extent, it'd be worthwhile. And, I think we used to talk about the fact that he had those energy levels, made other players round about him think I better try a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. I think now he probably runs slightly less, um, covers less distance, but he runs when it's important now. He makes those impactful runs. Um, and I just, he, he times his runs so well. Sometimes he's offside. I thought mm -hmm. St. Man tried to play the offside tonight, particularly in the second half. There was, there was quite a few where we were, we were ruled offside, but that was brilliant tonight. I mean, you'll not get sick, Darren said it already, you'll not get sick of watching that goal. I mean, how high in the air did he kick it? Um, just so skillful, you know, he was just guaranteeing it. Mm. And uh, I think, if, well, most people, certainly from where I was sitting, thought, oh, it's over the bar, right. it just came down beautifully. It took, took eh? forever to come down, didn't uh, it? But what a player, we're so lucky to have him. Absolutely. Uh, Darren, a few changes to the team tonight. Carter Vickers out. Um, debut for, for Yuki Kobayashi, what did you make of him? First, thing I, first thing I thought I uh, noticed about him was his, his presence. Mm. He's quite a big guy. Um, obviously as well I think when you get a defender who's that height you can, you can think he's like a donkey on the ball but I thought he was really comfortable mm. on the ball but I think it's good the fact that we now have the left footed centre back I thought he looked really comfortable I also let Starfield push over to the right and I thought it, he looked less nervous tonight and I think that's because he was playing on the right and he kind of had to take on that kind of senior mm. centre half responsibility that Carter Vickers has been having but I, I was really impressed with him I thought he handled in possession he was really comfortable wasn't nervous at all defending he was physical against that because I can't remember his name that big striker for something mm -hmm. he won most of the aerial battles against yeah. him and then he defended uh, with the ball at his feet quite well so I, I was pretty impressed with him tonight uh, What do you think it could be Ashy early doors Martin? Aye, aye I, I mean there was concerns see uh, Carter Vickers has been such a big player for us eh? I think we're all kind of you know drawn breath when we seen he wasn't in the team because he didn't play last time against St Mirren and I know he wasn't the only one that didn't play last time but you know they bullied us in that last game uh, away to St Mirren so I was concerns, but you know you've got to give the new guys a chance, um, and I was delighted that, that he got his chance, and I thought he was good. Same as what Darren said, I thought pretty settled the whole game. Having Starfield played well, there was there was one instance at the end where he kind of was a wee bit gung ho. St. Martin player got away from him, and I thought on well, another night that might have caused a goal. But overall, I thought his performance was good. Very very good debut. Yeah, Darren four goals, um, nice for the goal difference. Good to get a performance like that as well. A couple of. Scrappy games against Kilmarnock, um, nice to get a, a big win tonight. And again, it's just about turning these wins out with that lead at the top of the table. Yeah, exactly. But 
you know, I remember after saying after that draw again at Ibrox, it's all just about maintaining this now. Nine points is a huge gap, but it's important to keep the standards. 4 now against St Mirren, who are still the only team to beat us, it's it's really impressive. Those two games against Kilmarnock, they won their best performances, but again, as you said, it's just all about getting those wins. And tonight, we played above what we have been playing in weeks, and it showed 4 now more than comfortable. Yeah, you see the strength again uh, on the bench tonight. Martin Haksabanovic back fit. Turnbull comes on, great goal, great strike. I thought actually in possession he struggled when he came on at first, but... A beautiful strike for 4-0. Um, the only sort of weakness in the squad with Yakimak is not on the bench tonight um, is through the middle and Maeda came on there. Um, so we're looking for a replacement in that position, you think, if Yakimak is for the off battle and that, we're, we're looking strong. Ah, very good. And I thought all the subs came on and played their part. I mean, Forrest came on and did, did what he does sometimes with straights, uh, passing the ball back. But equally, quite often he was involved in offensive plays. A lot of his triangle passes down his side. So he came on and then, you know, Moy has become a fan's favourite he started playing really really well kind of forgot a little bit about Maidan and he comes on late in the game you think he's been such a big player for the club as well in recent weeks so yeah. uh, the strength and depth and the fact that you can bring on the five subs now you'll not, you'll not get sick of that when you've got a squad as strong as that as well because you're just if it's an opportunity you know Hattati I thought I know you'll come in a minute but I thought he was fantastic tonight I just uh, enjoy watching him more and more and more as he, as he gets more games under his belt but players like that a wee chance to get them off you know because they're so hard working in the game and, and trying try and manage the amount of game time they're getting so we can keep them fresh for the bigger games. Absolutely, I think Hattati's getting better and better isn't he, uh, as the months go by. Goals 16 and 17 uh, in the league for Kyogo tonight, um, is he your man of the match? Yes, but not by a huge distance, as I said at the start there, I think it was a huge, well an all-round really good team performance, obviously two goals and you know, we spoke about his movement, That's that his first goal in particular, that beautiful chip. I'm going to give it money match, but there was some some good performances. Hatati, obviously, mate. I thought Juranovic playing left back, he was pretty good, bond up and down the wing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, a few honourable mentions, but Kyogo has to do it for me, yeah. right? Aye. Martin? I think often if you score two goals, you get a good chance to get man of the match, but for me, Hatati, I thought he was going to get it. I thought he was very, very good in possession. He just picked up some beautiful passes, so for me, it's Hatati. Mm. I'll go Kyogo because he's my guy, isn't he? There you go. <laughs> uh, that's it for full time reaction. Like this video, comment with your own thoughts in the game below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you at the weekend for that Scottish Cup tie against Morton. Cheers.